Hello everyone, and welcome to Nostalgia Drive, a series where I go over the original Trails in the Sky OST and the Evo OST, and compare the two. Today has been a long time coming. I can't believe it's almost been a year since I originally started doing these videos, <laughs> and that it's taken me this long to get to this point. But, Silver Will is finally here. And let's just, let's just get into it. Let's just enjoy the original in anticipation for the Evo version. Oh, I'm I, I, kind of nervous, honestly, because this is, this is the big one, right? This is, this is the one song that everyone loves who plays FC. This is the song that everybody remembers, that definitely leaves the biggest impact, just based on the character it's associated with. Ooh. Oh, I'm not ready. Hmm. It is just really epic. Oh. R.I.P. Ishibashi. Is this his, is this his magnum opus? Is this his best work? I'm not sure. There are a couple of his tracks in SC that I actually like more than Silver Will Hot Take, but yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's just when this song comes on, you're like, oh, this is go time. This is serious town now. Oh yeah, and then Lawrence, he starts busting out all these these moves you've never seen. Is S Craft basically one-shotting your party? Mm. I love how there's also that uh, only in hindsight, right? But there's that weight, that emotional weight that this song has to it. I mean, yeah, it is basically just the... And this leitmotif gets used a lot in the series. Well, the first two games, mainly. Hmm. I just love those heavy synth notes. It's just they're nasty. You can barely hear them in the back. But they're going kind of crazy. I just everything, man. Everything about this song is just it's it's really good. Uh. Mm. Mm -mm 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 you you do not know the importance of <laughs> of Lawrence at this moment. Then he just kicks your ass. <laughs> oh, man. But it does serve as sort of like a springboard to, like, want to know more. What is he talking about? What is his connection to other characters? What is he What is he talking about with the queen? What, what, what did he mean when he with his conversation with the queen? Like, what? what is the deeper lore behind all of this? It was like, it was at this moment where it was like, all right, there's there's a lot more underneath the surface that we're just not aware of, right? This was the point of the story where it really started to unravel. The curtains started to open, and you could get little glimpses of just the, the craziness that was in store for you. I, I like that song. A hot take. It's It's not one of my favorite tracks even from just FC as a whole. Like, it's really good, but I kind of think it's a little bit overrated. <laughs> just in my opinion, in terms of it being like, oh, it's the one of the best songs in the whole series. Like, it's really good. I'm more of an environmental or like aesthetic. No, that's not the right word. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, I would definitely say I'm more of an atmospheric type of appreciator 
where I, I like the songs that are more where they just they take either locations or scenes and they just serve to further enhance those things. I'm doing a terrible job at explaining, but something like Zeiss, for instance. I would definitely say Zeiss is probably top three. I like Zeiss more than Silver Will, but that's the kind of that's the kind of music that I'm talking about, where like Zeiss encompasses the entire city. You just get that that huge feeling. Not only do you get the industrial feeling of the of the city from the music, but just the vibes that it portrays of just walking around the town, listening to that music. I can just envision all the NPCs just doing the, the side quests, talking to all the characters, all the different story moments. Like the more the more widely encompassing tracks are, are the kind of tracks that I really enjoy. Whereas Silver Will is more confined to me to a specific character, which is great, right? I love when characters have their own themes. Or where you hear a track and it becomes associated with a certain character because of how it's used. But I think I'm definitely more of a fan of like just the location-based tracks, where they're more they're more broad in scope. Now, obviously, there are tracks where they're focused on a specific character that I also really love, but this is just in terms of, in general, it's not a hard rule. Like, there's a couple tracks in SC or in Sky the Third that are very much associated with a specific character or, or a couple of characters, but where I, I vastly adore those tracks. It's just there's something about Silver Will that it doesn't connect with me as deeply as a lot of other tracks. Is all I'm trying to say. Okay, have I stalled enough? <laughs> I think I've stalled enough. All right, let's uh, let's just get my my raw thoughts out here. Ooh, let's read. Okay, first let's read. Okay, so Okajima did the arrangement for this one. All right, it wasn't Jindo this time. But, okay, violin and guitar are the only real instruments. Mizutani on the violin, and Daisuke Miyazaki on the guitar. Cool. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh! Oh, did you hear that little guitar riff in the very back at the beginning? Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this section, though. Ooh. Ooh, that, though. Mizutani's violin is always... Oh, such a delight to listen to. This sounds a bit more... EDM. Ooh! Oh, <laughs> oh just the addition of, of the guitar might change my mind. Oh my gosh! Dee 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 dee. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is like. Oh, this this almost gives it a different feel entirely. Oh, this is this is the kind of Evo goodness that I, that I wanted. This is kind of stuff I wanted from, from these Evo tracks. <laughs> this is definitely more epic sounding. Oh! The way the, the piano came in to accompany the violin. Oh my... That had me feeling some kind of way. Oh, that hit me. Oh my gosh. But just th this leitmotif in general is just... Hmm. The leitmotif is peak. Ooh. Ooh, how everything just quieted down, and then the guitar riff just came in. Oh! Daisuke is going hard. Ooh! Ooh, the whammy! Oh! 
No, no, it's over? No, it's over! Unacceptable! One million years, dungeon! Brother. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, uh, am I gonna sound crazy? I think the Evo version, as much as as much of a goat as Ichibashi is, I think the Evo version. Am I gonna sound like a crazy person for saying this? I think the Evo version's better. I just, uh, yeah, hmm. just the 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 way that the the guitar was sort of the supporting element of the violin. The violin was was the the main star of the show for about ninety percent of the track. Then you had the, the piano come in, and they were kind of, like, sort of complimenting each other. Just it, it, enhancing the emotions that each instrument can bring out with the notes that they were using. And just the leitmotif in general. Oh my gosh. But then the, the guitar was just adding those extra little flourishes. Just sit, sitting, sitting in the back on the sidelines. Not really drawing too much attention. Sort of like, uh, yeah, the violin was sort of Estelle being up front and center. Well, Joshua is sort of the, the guitar, right? He's just kind of, he's there. And every now and then, he'll do something to remind you that he's there. But Estelle is still the star of the show. Wow, I gotta hear that section again. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Austin bringing out Austin Powers there. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, Kojima. You, uh... I think he outdid himself with this one. And like, yeah, there was nothing really special about Mizutani's violin playing. It's just that she's, she's just really good at playing the violin. Like, she didn't really do any kind of, like, special flourishes or anything crazy. She was just... She was just playing. And she was still able to keep the attention focused on the violin. I think that is a sign of, of an expert in any kind of field, really. When you can do the most mundane, basic of tasks, but you do it in a way that it still keeps people's attention. And I think that's what Mizutani does really well. But man, I got Daisuke might be the unsung hero of this. His wow, his <laughs> man, that the the way he was shredding, and then that, that that whammy at the end there. Oh man, that wow, that that the absolute. Uh, I bow down. <laughs> that was peak. That was absolutely peak. That was pure Kino, as Kevin <laughs> would say. <laughs> Almost, almost a year. Actually, it hasn't been almost a year. It's been like, what, eight, nine months? Just about. But this journey has been incredible. And we've still got a decent amount of tracks left. Yeah, we've still got about a dozen or so tracks left. So we're not, we're not done with it just yet. But man, this might be, this might be the most epic of the tracks on this OST. I don't know, unless they can do something insane with the final boss theme with Ancient Makes or Hollow Light of the Sealed Land, unless they do something crazy with those two, those are the really the only two tracks that I think could get as close to being as epic as this one. Because a lot of the other tracks are, you know, they're just like the, the ending themes or they're more lighthearted. Thank you guys for being here. I wouldn't be doing this journey without you guys here, seriously. I can't wait to continue and see what else Okajima and Jindo have in store for us. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below telling me uh, what you think of my hot take. <laughs> Tell me what you think of Silver Will. If it's one of your favorite tracks, feel free to describe why. And if you haven't subscribed already and you enjoy the kind of content I make around here, come on, help a brother out. <laughs> Please <laughs> hit that subscribe button. 
we get to we get to, we get up to all kinds of good good fun stuff around here. Feel free to check out all my my socials in the description. If you want to support the channel, feel free to do so. And a very special thank you, to my current channel members, and thank you everyone for just hanging out with me, and watching these videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace out. All right, what's next?